hello class and welcome to this particular video where we're going to continue from where we stopped concerning linear equations and strategies on how to solve various linear equations or solutions so in here we're going to focus on division and multiplication on our previous video we looked at addition and subtraction where we need to be able to isolate for a specific variable in this part by first being able to move all like terms from one side of the equation to the other side which means that you have to change the signs and then finally you perform division in order for you to determine what the variable is that is required for the left side of the equation in the question to be equal to the right side of the equation in here we're going to apply that strategy into this division and multiplication aspect and the setup on how to approach those questions involves questions like this here where in here for example how do you get 10 when some value is divided by 3 enough to know what that value is we know that if you look at your multiplication table you know that 3 times 10 gives you 30 which means that if 30 is divided by 3 that should give you 10 so that is one way of approaching that but if you are given a much more a little bit complicated question and you want to determine how to solve for that x how will you go about that so in here looking at b for example b has 5x over 4 is equal to negative 15 which means that there is a value for x that will make this here to be equal to minus 15. now how do you go about that first step here you recognize is that 5 over 4 is a coefficient of x and this here is equal to negative 15 so what that means here is that if you look at the denominator here the denominator in this case is 4 on the left side which means that if I multiply both sides by 4 I should be, a be able to eliminate that fraction so in this case I'm going to multiply 4 by everything inside that equation which is 5 over 4 x which is equal to negative 15 and once you be, you are writing that setup you should be able to expand or rewrite this in such a way that it is actually true to the solution so in here we have 4 times 5 over 4x and this is equal to negative 15 times 4 so 4 cancels 4 on the left side and what we are left with is 5x and this is equal to negative 15 times 4 which gives you negative 60 so in here once we're able to accomplish that the final step is to isolate for x which means that the coefficient of x is going to be divided by that same coefficient which in this case is 5 so we divide both sides by 5 and that means our x here is equal to negative 12 because negative 60 divided by 5 will give us negative 12 and this side is cancelling each other out which means here that if I put this particular x back into the original question indeed it means that our answer will be equal to negative 15 which means 5 times negative 12 over 4 will be equal to negative 60 over 4 which gives us negative 15 which is actually true in this question so that is really good in this particular part here is actually the same step you use to solve for a so i challenge you to solve for a and like what we said in the beginning of the video you should be able to get x to be equal to 30. so moving on to e e is actually another one that we're going to be touching on and what we notice is that oh my goodness that a lot of fractions how will you deal with fractions here one way is to be able to recognize that first there are a couple of like terms here 
first like term is one side and it's also found on the other side of the equal sign and the other like term here is on one side we have the constants on both sides so what i will do is to move all constants to the other side and move the variable coefficients over to the other side so that means if i'm moving from one side of the equation sign to the other side of the equation sign my sign changes for that particular coefficient so in here first is we recognize that 2 over 3 x on the left side stays there but this time i'm moving positive 1 over 4 x to the other side which means that i'm going to change sign to negative sign of 1 over 4 x so this is equal to on this side we have negative 1 over 2 and this here is going to be moved over the positive 1 over 2 on the left side is going to be moved over to the right side which means that each each sign changes to negative so i have negative 1 over 2 so since we have fractions on both sides it means that we need to find the common denominator so if you recognize that it means that you'll be able to get everything into one complete fraction which means on the left side we have our x and we have our three and four to be the denominators which means that the common denominator is 12 and it means here that you're good or you can actually multiply this here by multiply this one here by 4 and multiply this as well by 4 and this side here you're multiplying this by 3 and multiplying that by 3 so in here we're having a denominator 4 times 2 gives you 8 for not forget your negative sign and on the other side we have 3 times 1 which gives you 3 so that is good on the coefficient of x now how about the one that is our constant on the other side of the equal sign the common denominator is don't forget is 2 so we're going to add our numerators which is negative 1 plus into bracket negative 1 so as a result of that once you evaluate the numerators on both sides of the equal sign in here we have 8 minus 3 which gives you 5 over 12 x uh, in here we have negative 1 plus negative 1 which gives us negative 2 over 2 so on the right side we see that negative 2 over 2 is equal to negative 1 which is awesome and on the left side we still have our 5x over 12 so what we see here is that the x has a coefficient and we need to keep x to be alone to have our final answer which means that we'll have to multiply both sides by the reciprocal of that particular fraction for the coefficient of x so in this case the reciprocal is 12 over 5 so in this case we're going to have 12 over 5 multiplied by 5 over 12 x and this is equal to negative 1 times 12 over 5 so once we have that we can evaluate that which means 12 divided by 12 and 5 divided by 12, 5 gives us 1 and which means that 1 times x, x gives us x and this is equal to negative 1 multiplied by 12 over 5 which gives us 12 over 5 and don't forget your negative sign which is right there so that means here that for this particular question here to be true which is in this particular fraction format here it means that x here has to be equal to negative 12 over 5 in order for left side to be indeed equal to the right side and you can check that by using your calculator and it should be good from there this strategy that we did in e is applicable to d 
and C. So you should get your answers there at your leisures and that should be good. And finally here is H. H is quite challenging but once you're able to get through one step everything should be awesome in here. And what you see here is that hmm, we have a mixed fraction and this mixed fraction we have to change it into an improper fraction and to do just that we multiply our 2 by 3 and then we add 1 to our result and that should give you the numerator which in this case is 7 over 2 and this is equal to 1 over 4 plus m multiplied by 2 over 3 so this is awesome here because we are able to rewrite this but into something that is more convenient for us to solve so what we do in this case is that we move our constant over to the other side for it to match with the other constant so once we're done with that that means that we'll have to subtract both sides by 1 over 4 which means that in this next step here 2 over 3 m is equal to 7 over 2 minus 1 over 4 so in this case once we have that we don't have a fraction adding or subtracting to another fraction on the left side however on the right side we need to do that particular evaluation so in here we have to find a common denominator on the right side which in this case is 8 and if you know it's 8 we can actually multiply this by 2 and multiply this by 2 which means here we multiply this by 4 and we also multiply that by 4 and from there on we know that 7 times 4 gives you 28 and on this other side 2 times 1 gives you 2 so once we have that set up already we already have what we're going to do to get a unique fraction on the right side which in this case is 28 minus 2 which gives you 26 over 8 so once we have that fraction on the right side ready then we can actually do that particular evaluation one way is to actually i'll just do step one one way and this is the other way so one way is to okay multiply both sides by the reciprocal of that m coefficient so in this case is 3 over 2 which means here that we're going to have 3 over 2 multiplied by 2 over 3 m and on this other side we have 6 over 8 multiplied by 3 over 2 or the other step is to actually cross multiply so if you cross multiply your 2 m is equal to 26 over 8 if you do your cross multiplication it means here that our 2 is going m is going to be multiplied by 8 and on the other side we have our 3 to be multiplied by 26 so if we move on from there you should be able to get this to be equal to 16 and in m and this side here to be 3 times 26 so if we divide both sides by 16 our uh, m will be equal to in this case you can divide this by 2 this gives you 13 divide by 2 gives you 8 3 times 13 gives you 36 those 39 sorry over 8 is actually positive so once you have that here on this other side we have 3 over 2 and if this all cancels out all we have is m is equal to 26 over 8 times 3 over 2 2 in this 1 2 in this 13 and what we are left here is m is equal to 39 over 8 so that is one way of solving which means you just multiply both sides or on the other side we just cross multiply and we should get the same value of m so if you put that m value into this equation here it means that 
this here left side will be indeed equal to the right side and if you do the same strategy to G and possibly yes F you should be able to get the answers appropriately in there so that's about it for this particular strategy on doing the division and multiplication of solutions please hit the comment down below or send me an email concerning any questions that you might have and also there are extra problems that are assigned on your hapara space all the same stay smart and believe in yourselves